So are you a grace giver or are you a truth teller? Most people lean one way or the other. We tend to, by default, we tend to speak truth and we're really clear about the truth and the facts and we want that to be known. And some of us lean on the other side, we're more grace givers, that's our default. And, and we wanna neglect sometimes speaking the harsh reality of the truth side, but we're gonna lean on the grace side. And which one are you? Which one are you in your parenting? Which one are you maybe in your marriage if you happen to be married or your roommates? Do you have coworkers? Which one are you at the office? Are you known as grace giver or truth teller? Now, sometimes we have to have really hard conversations and grace givers, that's really difficult. Sometimes our friends for the truth tellers, we have friends who need just, they just need to be cared for. And that's really hard for a truth teller. Just wanna listen. And, be, and shepherd them and love them and care for them. So which one do you struggle with the most? John, as we're introduced to Jesus in the Gospel of John, there's a fascinating verse in verse 14. And the Word, which is Jesus, became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have seen his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father. Now listen to this. Full of grace and truth. Now Jesus was not 50-50. You and I lean one way or the other when it comes to grace and truth, but Jesus was not 50, he was full of both. What does that mean? It means you and I will never find more love and grace than we will find in the person of Jesus. At the very same time, you and I will never find more honesty and truth than you and I will find in Jesus. What do I mean by that? Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. Jesus is really clear on truth. He doesn't sacrifice truth with his unconditional love. He doesn't waver with the truth as he loves us unconditionally. You'll never find more truth than you'll find in, in Jesus. Romans 8.1 says, for there is now no condemnation for those in Jesus, right? Yes, you're sinners. In me, you're not guilty. It's as if you've never sinned before. Can you think of some examples in the Gospels where we see Jesus being both full of grace and truth? The woman caught in adultery. Jesus speaks truth, but he's also full of grace. Go, he says, you're, you're released. I don't condemn you. You're free to go. I'm declaring you not guilty. But then he says, Go and, and sin no more. Walk away. Repent from that lifestyle. You're not guilty. Go. I think of the woman at the well. He, he speaks truth to the woman at the well. He says, you've been married five times. Reveals some things about her, right? Has Jesus revealed some things to you about your character, about your past, about some things that need to be repented? But then he says, but then he gives her eternal life and changes her life and actually changes the entire town. I think of Peter, he says to Peter, I will build my church upon you. But he also says to Peter, get thee behind me, Satan. Jesus is full of grace and full of truth. And when you come to him, you will find grace, you'll find truth. Jesus says to us, I love you as you are, but I love you too much to leave you there. That's the truth side. I love you too much to leave you there. There's some things that need to change and I wanna to continue to work on you. That's the truth side. Which one of those do you need to work on? Maybe there's a relationship in your life that you've been all grace to. And yet the Holy Spirit's been prompting you to speak truth to someone in love and in kindness. We have to earn the right to speak truth to, some, to, to people, right? We have to earn credibility and earn the right to be honest with people. You can't just walk up to somebody you never met them and, and expect, expect them to listen to you with, with truth. So you gotta earn the right. Now, now let me flip it. Maybe someone's been speaking truth to you and you don't wanna hear it. Someone's been loving you and graciously speaking truth to you and you haven't heard it. Maybe you need to receive that. Maybe the Holy Spirit's been saying some things to you that you need to receive that. As followers of Jesus, we as well, to the best of our ability, should be full of grace and truth. Grace and truth. Are we known as people of grace and truth? Are we known as only loving people, sacrificing truth? Or maybe we, we're clear, but we're just not kind. We're, we speak truth, we're not kind. What, what does it mean to move toward both of those at the same time?
time. To be people known as not sacrificing truth. Yeah, we speak truth, but we do so with great kindness and love. Let me pray. Father God, help us to love well. Help us to love first. And then help us to lead second and speak truth. But help us to always do both. May we not sacrifice one for the other because of ease or because of how we feel or conviction about a certain topic. And we don't love people well. Help us not to sacrifice grace and truth. If there's something that needs to change, something we need to receive, a character, Holy Spirit, would you work on us today? And what would it look like to grow in that area? We, we need your grace. We need your truth, Jesus. Amen. We at Boulder Mountain, we want to love first. We want to lead. We want to always do both. Have a good rest of your week.